So here I am in my nice little home, walking on grass. And this is just a quick sound test as we head into the nether. And I'm not sure if we ever showed you this on screen. We have safetified the nether. And I will stress, safetified does not mean safe. Safetified means safe temporary landing area. So this is lit. You do not have a... F I'm not sure if gas require four high or five high, but they won't spawn in three high. And it's lit well enough that nothing else will spawn here. And we've got in our little... Oh yes, forgot about those. We have another chest of eggs. <laughs> So, sound, we have the microphone set at 1, I'm trying my sound levels at 21%, so I'm just walking on some noisy nether rack, and just as a quickie, here is our nether room. We've got a fairly large cave. Ooh! And I need to watch where I'm going. Okay. Yeah. I have food? I don't have food. Alright, so let's not be so foolish. Alright, so the point of this is simply to get a little late but just for the heck of it the point of this is simply to get some volume sound level testing as i look for my food supplies and i know i've got food here somewhere i know i've got food here somewhere various configurations of loadouts I know I've got food here somewhere. As I said, various configurations of loadouts. This should be just dyes. Yes. Come on, where did I put the food? I know I've got food here somewhere. We have taken down the chickens. They were more trouble than they were worth. What? All right, so Alex has been on the system, and he's been doing stuff, and it looks like he has set up a railway. Now well, that's interesting. Now, I w was planning on setting up a stairway. What you see over there lit up in the corner that is a new base that we are moving over to. And Alex, no, well, I was going to make a staircase up and I'd already figured out exactly where it was going to be, but I have had a busy month of editing video and I haven't been on my own server in a month. I haven't been on anything in a month. So Alex has been busy. So the first thing I note is he has tamed, it looks like he has tamed the water vader. So it's no longer a disaster. So let's go check it out. Well, all right. This was going to be just a simple volume test, but it looks like we've got some serious looking around to see what he's been up to. All right. So coming up to Alex's treehouse. And as I said, it looks like he's been doing stuff. Yeah. So. Nice, he's got a doorway. And yes, I've forgotten about this little... I'm not sure if you guys ever saw this on camera or not. I don't know. I don't think this ever made it on camera. I'm not sure. Keep in mind, there's still... There's still a bunch of episodes that I haven't shown you, that I haven't even processed yet, so yeah. This is Alex's barbecue setup. He's got 
party steak, I mean, party cake, and some beef, chicken, and pork chops. He's got a nice supply of things for cooking with and just celebrating. This is his barbecue area. So yeah, he's got quite a few nice things up here. So where would that... No, it would have been on Oceanside. So yeah, what is happening with... Hmm. No, that's a ravine side, so it's into the ravine. All right, so Alex has been doing some work. Here's the patio. How did I miss the patio? Well, I either hit the water or I take damage. Let's try hitting the water. Ouch. Did not work. So yeah, I'm going to need to grab some food. All right, so yeah, here is that. So yeah, we've got... Every time we start and restart the stop and restart the server, we have an issue with the sheet. That's Alex's water launch dock. I'm pretty sure I recorded that at one point because that's been there for a while now. And yeah, as you can see, you can see clearly from here, that was Alex's lighthouse, which we now have lit with torches and just leave turned off. That is a new railway that Alex made that I have not seen before. And just to give you an overview, the ravine, the ravine ocean cave system pretty much goes as far as this lit area. The over here, where I'm mousing to, is pretty much the edge of the ravine ocean cave system. Over here is the river mountain underground cave system. And we knew that it goes under the mountain over here. We've got two entrances to it in my underwater base area. I'm mean, sorry, in my underground base area, there's two entrances to it, two different edges. We discovered just recently that there's a connecting passage between the two of them somewhere down at Y equals 12. We found it. We were surprised by it. It's there. They're the same system. Um, we also discovered that this system over here connects to what I have said was a better starting cave system that away. It connects through a mine shaft. Came as a surprise to us. The, the mine shaft generated wood plank floors that separate the two cave systems. So they connect. So that's basically where we are moving to because anything we're building on this island we're either running into water, or we're cramped and we have no space. And I know that I said before that this was 15 meters of worthless stone. It's turned into 50 meters of places to build. So yeah, we're moving. So yeah, as I said, it looks like Alex has tamed this water system. And we're no longer drowning, we're no longer falling out of the water, we're no longer flying all over the place. So it looks like there's been some good work done. So that's definitely a positive thing. Whoops, whoops, I did not. All right, so it's not completely safe and I am more frustrated and annoyed at myself than you can imagine. I get to make my own death run. <laughs> so I died in the ravine and I can just easily go down and pick my stuff up. And let's see how many of my own levels I can recover. And that's what I get for not healing myself when I knew I was injured. Yeah. All right, so. I died with 16 levels, and I'm back with 6. Well, 
Who was better than Ethos? 102 levels from killing the dragon down to six. I think he was also. Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. So we no longer have the water flowing down here. Right. Okay. So there's one spot up there where there's a gap of two. And if you fall out at that point, there's no way back in and there's no water at the bottom to... There's no soft landing spot on the bottom. So, yeah. Alex, your treehouse is officially unsafe. And there's just... For those of you who did not see what happened, trying to step out of the water vader at the spot where there's the gap, it's not safe. You cannot go smoothly up at that point and trying to jump out to continue gave me a fall. So, that is, yeah. Alex, your treehouse was a nice idea and it's a beautiful construction, but it's just not safe. So, over here we've got a you may remember this area used to be a, a pain to come down. It's now a tamed waterway down. We've got mushroom farms, brown and reds. This one never grew as much as it was expected to grow. Here's an example of that um, lighting bug. But this is a start of what things are going to look like. We've started bringing grass into this area, as you can see. This is my first base camp set and yeah all sorts of supplies things are pretty much going well but yeah that's what our island is looking like at the moment and this was an audio test and it turned into a farewell to levels my helmet is gone all right so yeah ravine exit and that's where we're at at the moment. And I wonder if I had anything else die. Come on. One other problem that I'm discovering with this water vader system that he has, you can't pause. If I have sneak on and I have a strict ladder, I don't go down. Here I have sneak on and I'm falling constantly, so that's no good. Yeah, so here's the spot where you're stuck. That, by the way, is our national monument sheet. He still is there around, hasn't died. So from this spot, the only safe way out of here, it needs more spacing, the only safe way out at this spot is to face this area and try to jump forward. And coming further at this point, okay, you have to walk towards the ladder. You have to walk towards the ladder and jump at the same time. All right. And here's the other floor. All right. So. Yeah. Alex, treehouse is nice, but I've died once too often to it. No, twice. Twice is once too often to it. I'm not going to be going back there, sorry. So let's check out the minecart system. As I said, this is my first time on this minecart. So let's give it a try. And if all goes well, if all goes well, So it's lighting up, it's supposed to launch you, but it's not. 
Alex, I don't know what's wrong with your minecart. If I press this button... Okay. Ah. So that's supposed to be the stop you from keeping on running. And then this button here is what? That lights that. Okay, I see he's got two of these things set up. Ah, so this is the... <laughs> so I'm beginning to think that this is actually a construction in progress, which may be why it's not quite ready for prime time. So he is in the process of building a railway to connect the two bases. And it's not yet ready. Okay. Well. No one to blame but myself. Anon has been decorating this place with roses. And... I'm assuming this is all Anon stuff, unless I find out otherwise. So anyways, that was a quick sample of my volume recording and a quick look at what people have been doing. Why is there two different... Oh, he's got the leaves there. As I said, it's been a month since I've been on. I've been busy editing and uploading videos of our, of our first season, for lack of a better term. As I said, we are leaving this island because we just got too crowded. You haven't seen the crowding yet, um, at, as I am recording this, and as I said, this is going to be season two intro, a quick look around. As I am recording this, I have just finished processing and uploading um, our Easter marathon session. We have yet to, you have yet to see our chicken hunt. You have yet to see, our, no, you have seen our sheep, you have seen our sheep. You've seen the initial construction, and you've seen a couple of caving trips. But you haven't seen a non-stock, you haven't seen red stock, and you haven't seen all of the lighting. I went overboard on the lighting. We've got a little water spot over here. I was in need of some sand. You haven't seen all of this lighting. Yeah, I went overboard on the lighting. It's not called Key Bounces Overkill for nothing. All right, so that will be the end of this recession. And... All right, thank you for watching.